um, Abby Snape or Abigail and Standby Art Director. Um, I'm on camera um, watching the monitor all day, not all day, but um, basically dressing things to shot. Um, I'm part of the design department, so I, it's my job basically just to make sure all the props are sorted. I have a team of four other prop men who will be getting all the props together. It's up to me to double check everything, go over it, talk to them about the day. We've got sheets for the day that give us all the information that we need, so we go through that and make sure everything's there. Then we'll go on to set and again put in any dressings that need. It could be food. If you're doing a breakfast scene, we need to make six English breakfasts, things like that. The prop boys will be doing all that and it's up to me to dress the set of everything that we need. It was in my first year of uni, I was studying theatre design at Nottingham Trent University. I approached Hollyoaks because I'm, I'm from Southport but I live in Liverpool and when I wasn't in Nottingham um, and I knew that Hollywood's filmed in Liverpool so I got a contact from them from my university and just emailed about work experience in the summer holidays because obviously although I was working for a theatre course I thought oh, well, I'll try and do a bit of TV as well so I went and did a week's work experience there and they took me on after that and I had paid work for the rest of that summer. Um, I studied art at school, that was my favourite thing, but then I really loved maths as well, which is a bit strange now, <laughs> but um, yeah, so it was mostly art and I did textiles and when I went to college I did art and textiles and English literature and theatre studies, <laughs> not the drama side of it though, I can't act, and oh and then I did an art foundation course, because um, I knew it was, it was always an art related subject that I wanted to do, but I always thought I wanted to get into costume which <laughs> I then changed my mind completely when I went to university and started specialising in set design and everything, and here I am. Because <laughs> I'm only 24, and I think to be standby art director at this age is a really good thing anyway, and the fact that I have come, come from one programme to another one and still, I don't necessarily think I'd be in a different job title, because I think to then, the next natural step would be from standby art director to art director. And although I have got some of the skills that you can have like the technical drawing and I think a lot of it in design department in particular is based on experience and I'd say in five years time I'd still want to be a standby art director, just a better one <laughs> kind of thing because to go into the next step you've just got to have experienced so much more and I'd want to experience other kind of productions like dramas and period dramas and things just to gain more knowledge on the whole work of TV really. <laughs> There's been times where um, I wanted, to, there was like a drama coming up, um, a BBC drama that I'd wanted to get on and I'd emailed and emailed all the people and emailed the designers and tried ringing them and they'd be like yeah yeah we'll get back to you and then they never do so then you email some more and then nothing comes out of it and then you know someone else is working on it and you see the call sheet and you see that there's like someone else's name you know next to standby art director and that's always a bit of like it's a bit disheartening because then you always just think that you would have loved to have had that position kind of thing but and that's why but then you've got to just pick yourself up <laughs> and carry on really because then there's always something else and then it'll just be the next job that you can then hassle and hound people for <laughs> so and then something will come along. My advice would be you've, you've got to know that you've got to start out at the bottom as awful as that sounds like I was art department runner um, and just do as much as you possibly can. You've just got to use your initiative and people notice that. And also, I, when I first went for work experience, I took my portfolio along with me, even though I was just in my first year of uni. And the designer over there said that was like a really good thing to do because straight away it shows that you want to do the job. Um, and just once you're there, you've just got to make contacts, talk to everyone, tell everyone what you want to do, ask them questions, find out how they got where they were, and then just keep emailing people, get designers names, email them, um, line producers to get designers emails and everything. Just there's a lot of kind of hassle and it's just mostly and it's horrible, but it's kind of not always what you know, it's who you know. And that's where the networking side of thing comes into it. Like I've learned, you've just got to talk to everyone. <laughs>